In the last day, the great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. There's an awesome force that God has in our, in our world, and that's the power of moving water. We call it rivers. We're here at the Elkhart River in Goshen, the Goshen Dam, the spillway, and you can see the water flowing behind me. The power that God puts in that moving water as it goes from one elevation to another elevation, it goes from one place to another place and eventually into the ocean, it's hard to believe. But yet God said that if you believe on Him, as the Scripture said, out of your belly are going to flow rivers of living water. John explained in the next verse that this spake He of the Spirit. God wants His Spirit to flow through us and flow to others. God wants you to be a vessel. He wants you to be a conduit through which His Spirit can move from one to another. So even in the wintertime, when it's cold and other things are frozen, the water keeps moving because there's an awesome force of the moving water. And my friend, with all the things going on in the world today, you can take heart because God's Spirit is still moving. And God wants to touch you. He wants to help you. He wants to move through you. And He wants to minister to others. So let the Spirit have its place in your life. Believe on the Lord, as the Scripture has said. It's more than just acknowledging that He's God, but it's really surrendering yourself and allowing His Spirit to fill you. John chapter 3, Jesus said, Marvel not that I say unto you, Nicodemus, you must be born again. He said, born again? Yeah, born of water and of Spirit. God wants you to be baptized in His name, and He wants you to be filled with His Spirit. God will lead you, God will guide you, God will direct you. And God will affect others around you as you let His Spirit flow through you. So the next time you see a river, the next time you go past a creek, the next time there's a heavy rain and there's water flowing down your street, remember, God wants His Spirit to flow through your life and impact others. And so you be that vessel. You be that avenue through which the Spirit of God can flow. And He will bless you and He will bless others. Have a wonderful day, share these with others, and join us for tomorrow's Daily Devotional.